Okay, hey y'all, so I'm about to go um, really quickly. I need to go out. I do want to try to get my hash brown. So I'm dressed, like half dressed in a way. Like I took a shower and I put on just cute little outfit. Um, but I don't have on makeup. I don't have on my look. Not that I need it. So whoever wants to come on here and be like, let's say she don't need makeup. I know, I know, I know. I know, I know, I know. I'm saying I don't have my complete look that I wanted to have to this outfit. Um, but I'm just going to run out and then I'll be back. Okay, y'all, so I'm headed to go get my hash brown. I um, I still, like, I'm hitting it because I know they're about to stop serving them. Um, but hopefully I can get to it in time. Um, you know, this lady in front of me, trying to be calm. You yeah, know, it's a Sunday, but baby has looked in her mirror at me like 20 times. So, I don't know. Maybe she likes the blouse. I'm really not sure. I like the blouse. Shoot. <laughs> I haven't worn my blouse. I feel like I'm talking so loud. I haven't worn this blouse like at all and I've had this blouse for I don't know how long. Um, I have bought it out of season and I just thought that it was like such a cute blouse. And now I'm deciding to wear it today. I'm half dressed like I told you guys. Um, I'm thinking about going to go some, spend some family time so I don't know. Um, I just wanted to get this hash brown that I'm going back home i can finish getting dressed um oh my gosh i can't stand when a person hits the brakes at a yellow light like what are you doing but anyway um people 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 i um i still need to finish getting dressed so i'm probably more than likely going to i don't know how i'm gonna style my hair i might wear it down um but i definitely need to like do my makeup i um I already washed my face so my face is good to go I didn't put on my serum so I think that my um obviously I still need to put my serum on when I get back I literally just washed it and then when I washed it I just was like out I'm like I'll get this when I get back because right now when I get there I'm gonna get there like once they're done serving like breakfast but at the same time sometimes I'm able to go in and still snatch up what I'm trying to snatch up because they they're not completely like right now it's like a minute past breakfast i'm hoping that i can get there in time regardless i'm gonna have to get something because i feel like i'm about to pass out like i need food of some sort um so we'll see sometimes they have you know like what i'm looking for but being that it's sunday i feel like they might just have already stopped serving you know the breakfast stuff just because but oh my goodness y'all there's that million dollar home it's like a million uh close to two million dollar home i'd be telling y'all about it's so pretty why are we it's so gorgeous like super gorgeous i'm trying to figure out why is this car still following me because i don't think that they were intending to come this way but now all of a sudden they're driving this way y'all i don't know i just be talking my life out loud so i know y'all be like why she always got a problem i don't it's just i talk out loud like what i'm thinking in my head and y'all just happen to hear it but um watch your surroundings because like for me when something looks like off if you've been seeing the same car following you for the last yeah but if you've been seeing the same like car follow you you might want to take a different route because chances are you know that person could be truly going the same direction as you but then again there's a there's a slight chance that that person could have been following you as well so you just kind of got to be careful watch your surroundings um don't ever be too sure of anything because literally y'all it happens i've had like i've watched cars drive like almost 10 15 minutes the same direction as me and i'm thinking well, it's either an awful coincidence or you're still following me and sometimes like i had a car that was following me for so long that i literally pretended to go straight with them and then when the opportunity presented itself i just hung a right and it's like you just kind of gotta like i said be aware of your surroundings because a lot of times when something happens it's right down the street from your house and that's simply because you didn't and i'm not to say we're all to blame but a lot of times it's because you didn't um watch your surroundings like you don't want to be in that situation where you not paying attention to your surroundings is what costs you your life like obviously we can't predict what goes on in our life but at the same time 
we we definitely we definitely have a lot we could do but give me a second i'm gonna go in here real quick see if they got hash browns hey y'all okay so look i just i just want to make this little i got my hash browns okay i had to yell i had to yell because the little girl didn't know what she was doing i didn't yell at her but i had to like yeah so basically i kept asking for my hash browns the, and the the little girl kept trying to, and i keep saying little girl she probably like 16 looked like she just got her first job 15 but i'm not seeing her up there several times so she just must not be retaining what she's taught but i'm telling her i want i would like to get my hash browns etc etc and she continues to keep like not getting my hash browns the way that i want my hash browns so okay i i was about to go home but i think i'm gonna go stop and get my coffee i, don't, I can't go to that other starbucks because i don't even want to say it on here for a while i don't go there but um i'm gonna go to the other location and get my starbucks but they kept on acting like you know the girl was not ringing my order up so then this little girl comes up and she's trying to get a change of her drink and she's telling them what they gave her and she's telling them what she's trying to order and they still aren't getting it right and i and the little girl was so cute she had to be about seven or eight and i just was like uh excuse me will y'all please fix her what she asked for you know so basically what i'm saying is even when kids aren't yours look out for them when their parents aren't there and her grandfather was looking at her through the window he just couldn't get out because he was on crutches um but i got i was like i got her you know because we got to look at our own our own people and stand up and be their big brothers and sisters in public when their parents or family aren't there so he was watching her he knew where she was he knew where her whereabouts were but i just had to be like um y'all not about to treat little girl like uh-uh 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 uh, no not on my watch so long story short look out for your little brothers and sisters that aren't your biological brothers and sisters in places and I told her don't let nobody run over you she's very soft spoken very cute very she was very very um um what's the word she's receptive because i was selling her certain things and she was like okay i said yeah in a few seconds in a few minutes if you don't get your drink you call them back over she said okay so don't let them run over you they'll think you're a child they'll think you're less important they'll think whatever they want to think and half of them in the kitchen are kids anyway so they're gonna just you know they have no self-control most of the time anyway unless management is there so yeah i was just like sweetheart don't let them don't let them don't let people don't let people do you any kind of way because you will grow up accepting people to do you any type of way her grandfather was like thank you so much for looking out i said you're welcome let's go i don't be wanting to hump my horn like that y'all my camera keep falling but i don't be wanting to honk my horn like that but they don't be paying attention it's like i can be filming i could check a quick message and i'm still paying attention like no not everybody's coordinated anyway so imagine when they're trying to drive and be a tornado. So I got two hash browns this morning. This one hash brown is so good. I'm gonna have a second one. So right now, I'm on my way to Starbucks. Um, But I'm about to get a coffee. I'm about to get a coffee. I gotta get over. Um, real quick, so I'm gonna get the espresso. The um, but I like to get the iced shaken espresso, with the vanilla in it, cinnamon sprinkled on top. 
you know, nothing major. Just a slight, that's what I'm gonna get this morning. So I'm gonna get it in a size Venti. And a lot of times I get a Venti in a Trenta. And I just do that because like a Trenta or whatever drink size you want, go a size up. If you're a person like me who get extra ice, they don't charge you for that. Um, and then also you just don't wanna short yourself on what it is that you're gonna be drinking. So if y'all are new to the channel, make sure y'all subscribe. Okay y'all, so I'm a little bit tight because I just realized that some of my footage <clears throat> Some of my footage that I had just started uh, recording, like this morning, um, I deleted just now by accident. And I'm not too sure how I'm going to, I guess I'm just gonna have to like chalk it up as like lost footage, but I literally just lost that footage. So I'm feeling some type of way. Uh, my camera is still just not liking that. But I lost some of my footage and yeah so i'm i'm really not too happy about that i am at starbucks like i told y'all so i'm about to order me um my drink which y'all will hear me order it in a second and then like i said i still need to do like my makeup and stuff when i get back because i do have intentions to go somewhere today um so we'll just see but let me order this drink Thank you for choosing Starbucks. Can I get some food started for you today? No, thank you, but I will take a beverage. I'm sorry? No food, but I'd like to order a coffee. Oh, yeah, go ahead. May I have a venti ice shaken espresso with uh, vanilla? Do you still want the classic in there? No classic, but I would like, I guess they used to have it brown sugar, but I'm saying I want vanilla instead of brown sugar. Oh, you want the brown sugar shaken espresso? Yes, but substitute the brown sugar for vanilla. Yeah, I got you. And then, um, may I have that venti in a Trenta cup with venti extra in ice? A Trenta cup? Yes, please, with extra ice. Okay. And then, can you sprinkle cinnamon on top? Okay. It already comes with cinnamon and shaken in and on top. Okay. Yeah, I would like a little bit on top if it doesn't come already on top. Okay. And that's it. Let me make sure that I write in French stuff because I don't have a button for it. Okay. Alright, you told us it's gonna be 640 at the window. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So yeah, um, they typically make this drink for me really well. Um, if you haven't already, um, I can't think of the name of the other drink to tell y'all. I think it's chocolate, almond, espresso, chocolate, something espresso. That one I don't like. It's, it's disgusting. But I do like the brown sugar shaken um, espresso. But a lot of times I'll substitute the brown sugar for vanilla because I like it that way as well. So <clears throat> with this drink, you got options. sorry y'all um so yeah i'm supposed to be doing some stuff today but we'll see we will see um how y'all feel about teslas i um seen something on the news recently about like this doctor and his friend got killed in a tes tesla fiery crash because they had put auto auto drive or autopilot or whatever the thing is called um, cruise control basically is what it was where the car was trying to drive itself and I don't think that went all too well because it resulted in a fiery crash so do y'all think self like driven cars and stuff like that that they're creating at these moments do y'all think that's safe like I mean it seems beneficial when you're going on vacation to go into like an extreme cruise control where it's almost like somebody else is driving your car but what happens if that cruise control button fails or what happens if, you know, you fall asleep at the wheel and it, you know, that you got to think about if you're on the passenger side and somebody's driving, that's a good feel. You know, you're just like comfortable. But imagine if nobody was on, you, you, that's probably how you'd be feeling when you'd be driving. Like you on a, a cruise control vibe and it's like, no sis, the car is about to crash. So... What did she tell me? 640? I need to get rid of this change. Give me a second, y'all. I gotta get my life.
I've got like so many Starbucks points, but I never redeem them. So I'm just gonna scan. Thank you. Okay. I'm gonna scan and then I'm gonna pay. Then here you are. What'd you say? You use your points? No. Okay. I got so many though, don't I? <laughs> I need to start using them. You have 150 ones, so you can get like a free drink whenever you want. Okay. I do, I got a lot of Starbucks points. Yes, please. Thank you. Okay. You as well. Okay, y'all. So I'm getting out this piece. Um, so because I already know what my day is about to, to kind of be like, I'm um, about to head back home. I actually have some schoolwork that I haven't done. Like I was supposed to been have done my homework. Y'all, I just, I'm not in the mood for that stuff no more. I'm, I'm still gonna do it, but you know, like when you get to a point where you're just so tired, just from so much, I'm kind of tired. So that's why I decided, um, I'm almost done with this class, but once I'm done with this class, your girl is literally gonna be taking her final classes um, this upcoming fall. I thought about summer, but, um, it's just been so much that I'm not too sure that I want to do all that. They don't get my drink right. Like, I don't have my, um, I asked to have cinnamon sprinkled on top. I don't see cinnamon sprinkled on top. Like, I know it's in the drink, but I asked for it to be on top as well. So, oh, anyway, outfit details. So the shorts, so the, the top that I have on is actually <clears throat> from the one and only Windsor store. And then the bottoms that I have on is also from Windsor. I'm probably gonna take a picture today, so I probably will give y'all a full body. Where is my other phone? I probably will give y'all a full body, but um, outfit is completely from Windsor. Like it was not bought as a set or anything like that, but I did buy it separately but you know that's like one of my favorite stores i always can find a vibe in that store that's why i love going there um i know people be looking at me like how can you just sit here and talk into a camera i don't know y'all tell me oh whatever that was I hate when cars swerve and don't put you on to the swerve. It's like, girl, if you gonna swerve, let me know so I can swerve too. Let me answer this phone call or whatever. Okay, y'all, so I went to Starbucks today, and they did not make my drink right. Like, they did not make my drink right. I'm home now to tell y'all about it, but they didn't. So, luckily, I had sugar-free vanilla um, already at my house, and then I used a little bit of my, um, my almond, my silk almond brand um, cream brulee. That's what I mixed into my coffee, and I asked for cinnamon on top. They didn't put that either, but I had cinnamon at home, so my whole drink, my whole vibe literally just shifted all because your girl knew what she was doing in the kitchen, period. So, <clears throat> I really don't like 
what my area looks like right now so I'm not going to I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take a picture I mean I'm not gonna flip the camera and show y'all what I got on I think I'm going to take a picture but let me get my let me get my life real quick get my makeup on part of me kind of don't even want to put on makeup to be to be like extremely extremely honest be brutally honest I just think it'll just you know it'll just bring something up out of the photo bring something out the photo homes <laughs> I'm playing y'all but let me let me go get my life I'm supposed to be listing stuff I'm not leaving the house y'all I'm actually just taking all my stuff to my room but I'm supposed to be listing some items for sale soon so stay tuned I keep saying that I have listed a couple but I also have gathered them aside. So we should be good, sis. But I'll see y'all in a little bit. I need to open up the blinds so I can get a little bit better lighting. Cause it's not all that hot. Well, it, it and it looks like it's about to rain today. So we'll see. We'll see. But let me get ready to start because this is my Sunday vlog realistic routine let me just start getting ready because like i said i do want to go spend some family time um and i just think if i'm gonna do that i probably need to hurry up and get dressed so i don't be out all day but i'll keep y'all tuned in baby i will keep y'all tuned in Everything is everywhere. I'll see y'all in a little bit. Okay, so hey babes, I have done my makeup. Um, I kept a simple glam. You guys know I'm always good for a simple glam. So this is what I'm looking like. I'm not too sure. Okay, that, I had to fix the lighting because I always feel like it makes me look super bright. So I just kind of give myself a little. This is what I'm looking like. Um... I did put that sugar scrub on my lips again because I just feel like I'm in an exfoliating mood. Um, you guys have to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You guys know I have my own cosmetic line. This one actually comes from Curly's Victoria Collection. I thought about putting this on, but I think this is going to give me more of a nice fall pop. So I think, I mean, obviously with my outfit, it looks like fall instead of spring, but who cares? Um, but I don't think I'm going to put this on even though it's one of my favorite lip colors from my collection. Um, I was looking for my neutral lip, but I don't know where it is right now. 
it's in one of my makeup kits but like i said i put some sugar scrub onto my lips and i'm just kind of letting them exfoliate for the day i'm not really going to do too much um as it pertains to um the lip i choose so i'm going to actually take some photos and then i'm also going to film a video that's going to give you guys out outfit details of what i'm wearing today i did paint my nails this week they're starting to chip that's not classy at all so i'm going to have to either repaint them or i'm going to have to just remove the polish soon because they're starting to look a little chip sis and that's not my style but <laughs> let me go ahead and get some photos for the gram and i guess you guys can watch i guess i mean what else do you have to do if you're already watching my channel nothing mm -hmm. okay so normally when i get home i like to transfer my starbucks cups to my house cups so i still got a good amount left but i will be transferring that drink soon so i can drink out of my own um appliances and stuff like that so Oh, this is a, you know what? I never thought about that. This, this would be a good picture. Uh, the mirror is kind of, I don't like the way the mirror is looking. Okay, so let me get a couple photos. Some of these photos I'm taking are not for the gram. Some of them are literally thumbnail vibes. okay so guys this cup i'm gonna show y'all this cup okay so this cup that i keep my makeup brushes in i actually got that cup a long time ago from starbucks uh, starbucks from sephora i saved up all my points i was thinking about points like starbucks but i saved up all my points and i still have a good amount of points and then eventually when i felt like i was ready i spent some points and i bought that cup but i use it for my makeup brushes it's amazing Come on, camera. I still have brushes that I got. Sephora brushes that I still haven't even used. Crazy, right? Oh, and I'm not going to tell you guys what brushes I'm planning to get soon, but I will be telling y'all. I'm going to be doing a little, you know, I'll do a little haul on them or whatever. Um, I'm not going to get them now. Some of them have been sold out, but I just have a whole like vibe coming soon with some um i have a whole vibe coming soon with some new updates so get ready i'm still trying to get a good picture i got a good picture out of this one but i just want to see if i can get another one so i have a couple to compare i've got the camera in portrait mode but it's still Okay, that seems good. I don't know that these are going to necessarily... Okay, I at least got one. Okay, I love the way this one shows off the, the different color heads of the brushes. It's very nice. I got a couple good ones. I don't know if y'all can see that, but I think that looks really good. Is it focused? I think that looks good. I don't think it's focusing, but... Y'all see what I'm saying. Okay, so let me get these photos for the gram. Let me get my setup. My setup. Okay, so I was going to do some, um, I'm going to stand up, but I'm also going to capture some selfies while I'm at it. So when I'm taking my pictures, a lot of times I want to make sure that, you know, my undergarments are tucked. Sometimes I get really good pictures and I turn around and I'm like, bruh, you can see my bra. Um, obviously with the LED light right now, I think my makeup is looking a little ghostly again. I don't know, but not on camera. I mean, on camera maybe, but not on my phone. So let me see. I like to get a couple flicks sitting just in case I want to post something like just, you know, sitting down. And I just love when, um, 
I like, y'all know I used to wear weave and sew-ins and braids and all that stuff like in my, um, before I had locks. And this is my second lock journey, but I've always loved my natural hair. Like whether it's in curls or whether it was locked, I've always been team natural before like other styles, even though I did wear them often. It's something about just being able to be beautiful in your own skin and in your own hair as well. Obviously, you can do that other stuff too, but just the beauty. Okay, so I've gotten a few pictures sitting down. These are okay. Oh, this one looks okay. These look like a really good... St I should probably one of these days take me some fresh head sh headshots. Um, let me turn the light down because I think it looks too bright. I am using outdoor lighting, like a uh, natural light, so I don't want this to be so so bright to where it doesn't look good okay so I've gotten that propped up so I'm gonna go close my bedroom door I'm gonna close the bathroom slightly and I'm just gonna give myself a nice cream uh, not cream a nice clean crisp uh, like background I don't want nothing to look too cluttered I don't want all of my cleanup session to be in my photo so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to close the door come hither <laughs> one second y'all